Hello Virgo and welcome to your TP reading for June the 1st through the 10th. Let's see what your rune is here. You have the Isa rune, the rune of stagnation. So let's see what that's all about. Your stone people card, oh yeah, is the man in the maze. When life becomes a maze, Sieha, big brother, will help you through, but you have to ask him. Okay, your spirit animal is the owl. You see clearly now. And, oh, look, your sign and symbol card is the rainbow and hope. So there is hope. Okay, we're actually going to draw the cards today. And they've already been shuffled here. We're doing the TP reading, which is going to show us the past, the present, the future. What you need to focus on now, the tools you're being given to help, and what the end result will be. Okay, so the past was retreat. You retreated. The present is about expanding your story. Your story can be told a hundred different ways. Do you focus on the negative or do you focus on the positive? Okay, and our future is that unity and wholeness are achieved. That's awesome. Okay, so now we're going to be seeing um, what we need to focus on, which is the energy of the innocent and the inner child. That kind of energy is what you need to focus on. The tool you're being given ooh, is the great mystery, original source. This is a very powerful card, and it means that you have to, what you have to do is drop the shame, blame, regret, anything about your past, and take responsibility for it. You are at the place you are because of the decisions you made, not what other people did to you, not what the world has done. Taking that responsibility is critical. And then the end result is fire medicine, passion, spontaneity, movement, getting out of the stagnation. Okay, so we're going to clarify. Sister Moon says here that, ooh, a Fiery climax approaches. That goes right with our fire medicine here. Something is going to change. This stagnation is going to be broken. Okay, and let's get a card from our other deck here. Oh, and Giraffe Spirit says to look at the big picture. Everything and everyone that is involved. Oh, and we have Magic Guardian. Unlock the magic within yourself. And every single person has that magic within. And I think for you, it may have been suppressed. For a long time and that's what this fire medicine is about it's going to take that kind of energy to release you out of this stagnation and being able to move toward unity and wholeness within yourself okay so our stones we're choosing our stones here our stone people i'm going to choose three Okay, and we have Desert Rose. This is about this passion and spontaneity and breaking out of the stagnation. Desert Rose, go for your dreams without restraint. 
All things are possible and it affirms your life purpose. So that is very powerful. And it really does go right along with all this fire medicine. You are ready for a change. Then we have Micah, which is all about reflection of yourself and what you think of yourself. Do you think you're worthy of this change? Micah is calming. It removes stubbornness. So that might be part of it as well. Brings positive growth flexibility, and can help change your reflection of how you see yourself. Then your third stone is angel light. The you are not alone stone brings awareness, helps you to speak your truth, is very cleansing, brings serenity, and relieves stress. So those are all really powerful. The most Powerful, of course, being the desert rose. All things are possible. If you are lost, remember that you can ask Sieha for help, for direction, for guidance. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. Peace, love, and light. Until next time.